is on HLN. We, we do these types of stories on Prime News because we have a heart for families, children. This is a parent alert. Are your kids abusing household products, using them as inhalants? The term is huffing. New study just came out saying one in five kids, school-age kids, have abused inhalants. We've been listening to Ashley Upchurch tell her story, and she's on the other side. Uh, but we have a story that uh, had a sad ending. Kevin Talley is uh, father of Amber. His daughter, Amber, died. February 2009. Kevin, again, our condolences for your loss, and we thank you for your bravery to come on and tell your story so we can, again, alert parents to what's going on. Uh, what What is Amber's story? What happened? Um, Amber's story was, uh, basically, she was a, uh, she was an A student in school. She was the only girl on the wrestling team, commander of our ROTC. Um, she, she never, prior to this, she never did any uh, other drugs, but under peer pressure, some of her friends uh, got her to try Huffer. And now we suspect over a period of six months, give or take, that she was doing huffing. And uh, one night, uh, her boyfriend picked her up from the house to get her uniform at school, told my wife, you know, you know good night and stuff. And next thing you know, you get uh, three cops on your door, step, you know, and then you have to go identify your child. Um, it, was, it was a horrible thing. Um, I'm sure you're still recovering from that. Did did you notice anything over this? You said she had tried, she was doing this over a six month period. Did you notice any changes in behavior? Any signs that? Um, yeah, well, the, the first time we noticed that was she had a car accident. She she uh, blacked out at the wheel, so we took her to her primary physician, the neurologist. They couldn't quite figure that out. The second time is she started to to complain about sore throat, her nose running, she couldn't sleep. Uh, behavioral changes, stuff like that. We knew something was there, but we qu couldn't quite put our finger on it. Even the, we took her to an ear, nose, and throat physician. Mm. He couldn't even put his finger on it. And we knew there was something there. And that was two weeks. And then two weeks after that is when, when the accident, accident happened and she, and she died. Mm. Uh, I know I know part of the reason that you're on here is you do want to warn a parent out there, and, and it could make the difference. What, what is your word of warning to, to parents out there concerning this? My, uh, my word of warning is just pay attention to everything. Um, I'm actually with a uh, coalition called Uproar, United Parents Restricting Open Access Refrigerants, and we go around the country and try to get these laws changed. So that way we can educate doctors and parents, and that, that way people know what to look for. Mm. This is... This is um, this is getting more popular with the kids because it's free and accessible and you can walk into your, your whatever store or whatever and buy dusters or free yeah. for cars or whatnot. Yeah, and it's just laying around the house, so we just have to be so alert and uh, vigilant for our children. Kevin Talley, thank you again. Uh, our condolences, but we thank you for coming on and fighting this fight for us and for parents out there. And again, Ashley and Rochelle, thank you both uh, as well. Hopefully we've uh, opened some eyes here. Thanks, guys. Thanks, uh, thank you very much. Sir. Yeah, appreciate it.